Today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for another Commander Snack. So this is the series where we highlight a different legendary creature each episode. And then we go hunting through the packs here for creatures of the same tribe. So let's take a look at the Commander today. So very cool. We have Moltani Marrow Sorcerer Summon Legend. Star Star for six. Moltani Maro Sorcerer has power and toughness each equal to the total number of cards in all players' hands. Craziness. Moltani cannot be the target of spells or abilities. So it doesn't actually say it on the card, but Moltani is an elemental, so we'll be hunting for elementals today. Let's introduce the patron. We have Travis Henderson. Thank you for being a patron, sir. And the patrons get the rares, mythic spoils, and anything over a buck. Okay, so we have packs here that should get us a good many elementals. But first, look into his eyes and what do you see? I am very uh, confused by what I see there. I think he's confused by what he sees also. Okay, starting off, oh my god. Helica Glider, Creature Nightmare Squirrel. All right. Capture Sphere for all your Pokemon needs. Fertilid, here we go. Creature Elemental 0 0 for 3. Fertilid and Spurred with 2. Plus 1 plus 1 counters on it for 1 and a green. Remove a plus 1 plus 1 counter from it. Target player searches their library for a basic land card, puts onto a battlefield tap, then shuffles their library. And the Whisper Squad. Heightened Reflexes, Sleeper Dart, Convolute, Unexpected Fangs, Essence Symbiote. Raking Claws and the Uncommon's Charge of the Forever Beast. Ominous Seas. Auspicious Starix. And the rare is Sea Dasher Octopus. Creature Octopus 223. So it has Mutate for one and a blue. So if you cast a spell for its Mutate cost, put it over or under target non human creature you own. They mutate into the creature on top plus all abilities from under it as Flash. Whenever this creature does combat damage to a player, draw a card. What is the craziest mutation you've ever come up with? Leave a note in the comments. And a Tranquil Cove and Dinosaur token. On to Core 2020. So there are absolutely bucket loads of elementals in this set. So hopefully we'll find tons of those today. We've got Aerial Assault, Convolute, Goblin Smuggler. Daybreak Chaplain, Blade Brand, Natural End, Barony Vampire, Greenwood Sentinel, Chandra's Ember Cat, Creature Elemental Cat, 2 2 for 2. So you tap, add red mana, spend this mana only to cast an elemental spell or a Chandra Planeswalker spell. Alright, Prismite, Angel of Vitality for the Uncommons. Air Elemental, here we go, another one. Creature Elemental 4-4 four, four, for 5 with Flying. Yarox Fenlurker, Creature Horror. And the rare is Shared Summons, Instant for 5. Search your library for up to two creature cards with different names, reel them, put them into your hand, then shuffle your library. And a Windscarred Crag and Elemental Token. There we go, I'll chuck that in as well. Very much on theme. All right, more Core 2020 which will be rotating at a standard real soon now. We've got Frilled Sea Serpent, Act of Treason, Inspiring Captain, Anticipate, Fathom Fleet Cutthroat, Chandra's Outrage, Heart Pierce Bow, Rabid Bite, Sorcerer of the Fang, and the Uncommon Scholar of the Ages, Flame Sweep. Season of Growth and the Rare. Ah, nice! Wake Root Elemental. Creature Elemental 5-5 five, five for 6. So you pay 5 green mana. Untap target land you control. It becomes a 5-5 five, five Elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. This effect lasts as long as that land remains on the battlefield. Good deal. And a foil Yarox Wave Crasher. Creature Elemental. See what I mean? 4-4-4 four, 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 when Yarox Wave Crasher and Spadefield return another creature you control to its owner's hand. And a Thornwood Falls and Wolf Token. Alright, tons of elementals, good to see. Theros Beyond Death up next. 
So there are some elementals in this one. All right, we got a human soldier, a planes. And the rare, very nice, Elspeth Conquers Death, so this is an enchantment saga for five. As this saga enters an after your draw step, add a law counter, sack it after three. So on your first turn using this, so a target permanent and opponent controls with, convert amount cost three or greater. Turn two, non creep spells your opponent's cast, it costs two more to cast until your next turn. Turn three, return target creature or plans or card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Put a plus one plus one counter or a loyalty counter on it. And I like the mosaic artwork there, very cool. Okay, pop that down there. Uncommon's Warden of the Chained, Banishing Light, Glimpse of Freedom, and the Commons Arena Trickster, Nyxborn Colossus, Wrap in Flames, Omen of the Sun, Hyrax Tower Scout, Nyxborn Seaguard, Dreadful Apathy, Scavenging Harpy, Lampad of Death's Vigil, Moss Viper, and that is it. All right. So which of the sets that are currently in standard will you be sad when they rotate out in the next week and a half? Leave a note in the comments. I would probably say for me, oh, that's a tough one. Maybe uh, War of the Spark, I think, would be the most disappointing to see that leave. All right, we have a zombie token, Swiftwater Cliffs, and the rare conspicuous snoop, creature goblin rogue, two, two for two. You know we love the goblins here, and actually I want to take this guy for a spin. Uh, the historic goblins deck is doing some evil things on MTG Arena right now. Um, I think there's a couple of them. There's mono red and a Rakdos version. So yeah, he is one of the uh, key pieces there. So he's a 2-2-2, two, two two. play with the top card of your library revealed, you may cast goblin spells from the top of your library. As long as the top card of your library is a goblin card, Conspicuous Snoop has all activated abilities of that card. Craziness. And Uncorn's Riddle Form, Enthralling Hold, Obsessive Stitcher, and the Commons Fetid Imp, Frost Breath. Mind rot. You watch too many videos on this channel, you rot your mind. And discard two cards, and the only known cure is watching more videos on the channel. I'm pretty sure that works. I'll throw that in as well. Revitalize up next. Igneous Cur, creature elemental dog. One, two for two. One and a red. Igneous Cur gets plus two, plus zero until end of turn. Some dogs just aren't meant to be indoor pets. Yes, he's a hot dog indeed. We'll set him aside. Rookie mistake, warded battlements. Goblin arsonist. Yes, the goblins always trying to hog the spotlight here. Roaming ghost light and pride malkin. Okay, final pack here. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. See if we can get a stack more elementals here. Fingers crossed we have Cathartic Reunion. Divine Arrow. Glimmer Bell, Creature Elemental Jellyfish. There we go, one, three for two with flying pay one and a blue untap Glimmer Bell. Ram through, Serrated Scorpion. Raking Claws, Hampering Snare, Blood Curdle, Thwart the Enemy, Patagia Tiger, and the Uncommon Sprite Dragon, Exuberant Wolf Bear, Unbreakable Bond, and that's a mythic! Nice! Kinnon Bonder Prodigy, the generic creature human druid 2 2 for 2. Whenever you tap a non land permanent for mana, Add one mana of any type that permanent produce for five green and blue. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may put a non-human creature card from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Nice pull. And a Scoured Barons and Human Soldier token. Okay, so we did pretty well today. Uh, some of these episodes we don't pull many creatures at all. But yeah, this was a good haul. So there you go. Travis, enjoy your Moltani and friends. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.